Hello everybody! Welcome to this Let's Learn Futures webinar series brought to you by Bursa Malaysia and managed by our company Life Champ. So today we are very excited to see you all again on this uh, Futures webinar. Now today's topic is on how to trade with candlestick charts like a pro and now uh, we have a thousand, more than 1,700 people registered for this webinar. So uh, if you're online right now, you are very lucky and very early because uh, we believe that it will be full house very soon. Huh? So, so today we are going to do a study into how do we read candlestick chart and how do we identify candlestick patterns on the chart and how do we make a trading decisions on this. And today we got a, a speaker who is very experienced in this field to share a view about candlestick patterns. Now, uh, before we begin, as usual, disclaimer, whatever we share on this webinar is only for educational purpose. In no way that we give any recommendation to buy or sell any, uh, you know, companies or long or short any futures contract. So if you decide to do any financial decisions or investment decision, you do it at your own risk. Now these are the remaining Bursa Malaysia derivative sponsor webinar for the rest of the years. We have uh, next uh, Thursday, we're going to talk about risk and money management strategy for money maximizing trading results by David Law. And until uh, December 17, this is the remaining session. Just remember, if you want to watch the you know, up, you know, upgrade your knowledge in futures, then uh, reserve your uh, Thursday uh, evening with us. Okay, mainly it's Thursday. So without further ado, let me introduce our speaker today. Yeah, she is the CEO of Sigma Wealth Sanjian Berhad. She is a certified financial planner and a licensed financial planner with Securities Commission's uh, CMSL license and Bank Negara Licensed Financial Advisor representative. She has been in the training industry for more than 20 years. Uh, she is also the course facilitator for Financial Planning uh, Association Malaysia CP courses and she has published five investment and financial planning books. You can find them at the major bookstore, okay? And in addition, she's also a certified chartist, okay? CFTE in Malaysia and a member of the Society of Technical Analysis in UK. And she's none other than uh, Pauline Yong. Okay, Pauline, welcome to our webinar today. We are very excited to have you online. Hi, good evening, everyone. I'm yeah. honored to be here. Today, the session okay. received overwhelming response. So yeah, so are you ready to rock the house? <laughs> yeah, hopefully I can um, teach something or share something that uh, people will benefit from it. All right, cool. So I'll just make you a presenter. So yeah, okay. you can uh, take it away, Pauline. Okay, sure. So today, um, we are going to talk about candlestick chart pattern. And um, before I go into this uh, candlestick chart pattern, uh, let me give you some background because um, when we are talking about technical analysis, um, very often um, we focus on one. There are, because in the technical analysis, you have so many um, fields, like you have candlestick, you have Elliott Wave, you have Fibonacci, you have uh, cycle analysis, you have so many. Then you get confused, like so many um, things to learn. How should I start? What is the first step? Like, you know, you've got um too overcrowded in your mind so um i just want to give you a brief uh background of uh, what is the the right steps towards this um, technical analysis for technical analysis right i usually look at um the the whole thing as a you must have um looking at this as a uh you can look it as a long-term view or even a short-term view a lot of time people thought that this one is actually for short-term trading but actually, uh, for technical analysis, you can have it short term, medium term, and even long term. Okay, so you can actually the time frame is uh, it's uh, you, you must set the time frame, and then from there, then you look at the individual um, chart that suits that kind of a time frame. So um, the very basic things that you need to cover is um, trend line analysis. So in a chart when you take out a chart right the very first thing that you need to draw um, is the trend lines and there are three trend lines that you need to set the background before we go into a wave or fibonacci or candlesticks or whatever 
So these are the three basics. Okay, so the first one is the uh, the moving average. So usually I would use the 20 days moving average and the 200 day moving average. So the very first thing I will tick tick and then I will draw out that um, 200 day and the 20 day into the chart first. Then number two, I will draw the support and resistance line, the horizontal support and resistance line, which means in the chart, right, you will have to start to um, to, to draw like a, the, the horizontal trend line, okay, horizontal trend line. And this horizontal trend line, you have to look from left to right across the chart. Um, maybe you can, from uh, three years all the way to five years, the big picture, and then you can go on to the small picture. So you look at the macro first, and then look at the micro, and then you look at what are the price level that have a lot of uh, price action, like a, a turning point. So the, the top is a turning point and then the bottom is also a turning point. So these are the points whereby um, you can draw horizontal trend line to separate your diagram. So usually I will prefer um, identical, um, like a equal distance kind of a trend line. So that means if it's a 20, um, KLCI index, maybe it's 20 points, 20 points, 20 points, uh, you separate by the trend line. So these are the, the horizontal lines. And number three will be the trend lines. And this trend line will be the, uh, the slanting trend line. Okay, because just now I was talking about the horizontal, right? Then that was a support and resistance. So then the third one is the trend line that is actually um, you, the, the price movement, the current price movement, you're looking at the current trend of the current price movement. So then you have to draw. So um, for example, um, this particular chart, is this chart is going on the uptrend or downtrend? So that's a basic thing you need to know. Is it uptrend or downtrend? Okay, so you draw according to that the current um, situation there. Is it uptrend or it, it's a downtrend? Okay, so, so these three trend lines form the basic foundation of technical analysis. Once you have these three in place, then you start to look at candlestick chart pattern, you look at the Fibonacci, you look at um, a lot of other things or even technical indicators. Okay, so the, 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 the background is like this, so you, you must have that. Okay, then you look into the um, candlesticks. Now among these um, uh, patterns, like you have this chart pattern, you have this um, uh, candlestick, you have Fibonacci and all this, right? I also rank them accordingly. So among these, right, chart pattern is number one. It's really the number one. So the basic is the trend lines. Okay. So on top of that basic, it's like you are building a, a building. You need a foundation. You need to lay a foundation. So after you lay the foundation with the trend line, then you start to build the on, on, uh, on, on top of it. And then so that the foundation will get stronger and stronger. So the next layer will be the, the chart pattern. The chart pattern is very, very important among these. Okay. The chart pattern is very important. And then followed by the uh, the, 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 the candlestick, okay, the candles, this, the, the followed by this candlestick, psychoanalysis, Fibonacci, all these will be um, together. I, I will see that they are the same rank and then they are the next level, okay. So the candlestick, Fibonacci, Elliott Wave and, um, and uh, psychoanalysis and all these will be um, on a higher level, which means that these are on the same part, okay, same part. All right. So back to this um, candlestick, okay? Okay, so you can see that um, what is a candlestick? For, for the newcomers into the technical analysis, right? Candlestick is a chart that are uh, often used by um, technical analysis people. Um, in the past, they use a bar chart, okay? A bar chart is very similar to this candlestick. So let me explain. So each of these candlestick, right, represent one time frame. So if you are looking at a daily chart, then one candlestick represents one day's price movement. Okay. If you are looking at a five minutes chart, so one candlestick represents a five minute kind of a price action. Okay. So that candlestick will represent the individual time frame. Okay. So it represents one day's, in this case, it's a daily chart. So it represents one day's worth of price data about the stock. So it usually, if you, if you look at it, either you have a black color or a white color. So um, in certain chart, 
charting software you have red or green okay so the white color and the green color represent bullish the black color or the red color represent bearish okay so the very first thing they use color to distinguish whether it's bullish or bearish so it's very easy to look at candlestick chart pattern so at one glance if you see that the whole chart is um, dominating with black color candlestick okay so you know that it's a bearish trend and then at one glance it's all most majority are white colors then it will be uh the the the, the bullish trend okay now then let me explain now uh. so you have this opening okay so if if you look at it it's a white candlestick white candlestick white bar so it means that um, you open low and you close high so then you have a white color or bullish bar okay bullish bar over here or bullish candle over here so open here and then close high so open low close high then it's a bullish it's an update it's an update for this that day okay so bias is, is in control so the tails are actually that day's high highest point that it went and then the lowest point that it went so the tails are the 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 intraday high and the intraday low okay so so you, you can have like the the closing is the highest of the day you can have it so that means you do not see any tail on top so it it means that you close at the top the highest price of that day okay and then um similarly for this um black color candlestick you open high and you close low so you that's why you have a black color candlestick open high and close low so and then the this is the day high so you open and then you went all the way up and then you go all the way down because it was very bearish it went all the way down and then it went so low and then it rebounded and then at the time that it was the closing time maybe 5 p.m then the price closed at this level okay so this is the uh, it tells you it tells you what is my opening price and what is my closing price and what is my day high and what is my day low so one candlestick can tells you can tell you so so many um information so it's like very informative this chart is very informative um, rather than the line chart the line chart doesn't tell you what is the day high or the day low it's just a line and the line is represent the closing price only so you only know when what is the closing price you do not know on that day before the price closed on that price what happened did it went all the way up or did it went all the way down we do not know so that's a line chart so with this candlestick we have all this information so it's very powerful so there are only two groups of people in the stock market they are buyers and sellers so we want to find which group is in control of the price action and we can use the candles to figure that out so basically you have a wide range candle that means it's a tall candlestick and you have a, a narrow range candle okay so these two represent different psychology behind it so the white range candle states that there is high volatility that means interest in the stock so that means if you have a tall candlestick so that means the price actually went all the way up and then it went all the way down and then it's like fluctuate within this range maybe uh 50 cents or something okay so that means the price actually went uh to a very uh a, a, a high price and then it also um, went uh, to a low price so the the daily fluctuation is quite a big range okay maybe 50 cents or one ringgit or something so it's a big uh, range there then the narrow range candle that is representing low volatility so that means that day maybe it only moved like 10 cents okay the price is maybe 10 ringgit so it only moved like 10 cents okay which is quite quite a lot also or or maybe it's a uh, move five cents or three cents so so that means that they are uh, the price action uh, is very limited so maybe people are not so interested in the stock okay the buying and selling um volume maybe is uh, uh not that high but um there are a lot of because actually for that 
wide range candle or narrow range candle, you actually need to look at the volume. Okay, you need to look at the volume. The candlestick is just the candlestick, it tells you the price action. But what usually the professional um, chartist will actually look is looking at the volume. By looking at the volume, right, it really gives you the interest of the stock, whether it is interested in the stock or not interested. It's the volume that counts, okay? So always remember, the volume tells you whether the people are interested in the stock or not. And then if, let's say, you can have a short, um, narrow candlestick, but the volume can be very high. That means a lot of people are transacted on, on that day. Okay, so um, so the volume is very important. Okay. Okay, so if we know that stock tends to move in the direction of wide range candles, we can look to the left. The chart uh, look to the left means the historical action because when we are moving to the right, we are looking at the future. So this is the, the x axis. Okay, so it's like a going to the right is the, the future time frame, and then going to the left is the past historical um, price action. So when you look at the left, right, so you can see what is the interest of the buyers and the sellers by looking at whether you have a lot of uh, tall um, white candles or you have a lot of um, black, um, tall black candles. Okay, so that gives you a lot of information. If you see a lot of white range candles, that means what? That means it's very bullish. Okay, if that chart has a lot of uh, white range black color candlestick so that means it's it's actually very bearish okay so we want to know if there is interest in the stock and if it's being accumulated or distributed by the institutional traders okay so the narrow range candle imply low volatility so this is a period of time where there is very little interest and however this narrow range candles often lead to reversal because low volatility leads to high volatility and high volatility leads to low volatility so what it means that sometimes you see that um, the, the, the price action is that sometimes it is very low volatility, that means narrow, okay, narrow candlestick. So this narrow candlestick uh, can mean, uh, especially when there's high volume, uh, can mean that it, it could be, uh, it will, it will, it's just the, the preclude of that. The storm is going to happen, okay? So the low volatility is just a signal to you that the, the 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 storm is going to happen in the future okay so so it's like uh calm before the storm it's like a calm situation before the stormy weather okay so that's low uh narrow range candle when you see those um especially doji or small narrow and then that means that could be the the bigger price action is is ahead uh, in the in this um situation Okay, so then you see that the price move in the direction of a long candles. Okay, move in direction. So if you see white range candle, so it is an uptrend. So if you see a lot of down, um, uh, black long candles, it's a downtrend. Okay, so so this straight away tells you uptrend or downtrend. But of course, like what I say, the 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 very first three things that you need to do to to, to put up a 20 day and a 200 day moving average. And then you draw horizontal support and resistance line like this one, you see that there's a peak here. And then, so when you draw this, maybe you'll match this part here. So it's a valid horizontal support line here. Then you will see another one. There's a, 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 a pointed uh, place here. And then maybe you can draw over another line. And then over here, you draw. Okay, and the bottom here you drop. The top also you need to drop. Okay, so so you need to, and this one is only like four months, so it's not enough. You go, you got to have like three years so that you can draw horizontal line better. Okay, three years chart, and then after you draw the horizontal line, then you draw the trend line. So this trend line you draw on top here, so it is a upward sloping trend line. So this trend is an upward sloping. Okay, you can even draw a channel by joining these two peaks and then draw another trend line. So it's an upward sloping channel line here. Okay, then you look at the um, the candlestick because the candlestick usually people spot the, the reversal pattern using the candlestick. 
but you don't focus too much on the candlestick and then you neglected the whole big picture the whole big picture maybe is a bigger chart pattern behind it you didn't see you just look at the small little um, candle because a lot of people they may they may become too micro and then just focus on the candles candlesticks and then they forget about the big whole thing behind which is the big chart pattern behind it okay so so which is very important so you always um, have to look at the the big macro view then you zoom into the micro so um, single chart pattern eh? so let uh, me uh, introduce a few interesting but important um, candlestick chart patterns so the first one they call it the king of the candlestick which is this marubozu okay marubozu is a japanese word so all this is actually originated from japan so all the the names here are, are japanese words so, so this is the king, the king of that uh, candlestick, which means that you open low and then you close high. And this one, you open high and then you close low. So there's no intraday. The intraday low is the opening price. The, the intraday high is the closing price. So you don't see any shadow, no tail, no shadow here. Okay, so this is the Marubozu. Then this one is called a spinning top. So spinning tops will have longer tails. So usually when we look at the candlestick with long tails, uh, it shows that you just look at, you don't need to memorize the names. I, I, don't, I don't like to memorize the names. I just like to understand the psychology behind it. So for example, you look at this particular chart. So you have open from here. You open from here and then maybe that day you go all the way down and then you go all the way up and then finally you close very near to the opening price okay you back to here very near the opening price so then you form a small white um, narrow body here but you with a long tail okay so so this tells you what the psychology the psychology is that the people are kind of undecided isn't it because you see uh, the people actually move all the way down and then it move all the way up and then finally it move to the back to the original place so that means that people are actually not sure where the direction is they do not have a clear direction like this one they have a clear direction you open low and then you close high so it's a bullish day so you close high it's a it's a clear um situation but over here okay over here you you the prior the price swing all the way down and then it went all the way up and then it closed back to the original position so it's like the 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 the, the psychology behind it shows that people are are not sure what's the trend they they are not for, they, they are not sure okay so it's undecided so this long tails usually signals that um it's undecided and then maybe there's possible trend reversal because whatever the original trend okay if or whether it's an uptrend or downtrend if you see something like that it could be a trend reversal okay it could be and among these candlesticks right then these candlesticks will have like strength like for example this candlestick will give you a strong very strong reversal signal and then when you see that this candlestick although it's also a reversal signal but this candlestick have a weak weaker reversal um, signals to you so then you need to recognize what kind of uh, candlesticks right will send you a very strong reversal signals and then which one is the weaker one then you just probably you know don't pay too much of attention you pay attention to the strong reversal um, candlestick pattern so these the, the things that are introduced today only a few ones but these are the common one that means because technical analysis is like this the more people familiar and they recognize it then they they will act on it okay they will see that oh if everybody know that this is a shooting star then of course everybody will act on it okay so so certain pattern not many people are familiar so maybe you know they may not act so much but those familiar ones like very famous one uh, those are the pattern that people will act on it and these are the strong reversal um, candlestick pattern okay so um the next one is this uh, long shadow so but this long shadow is very long on the upper side there so psychology it tells you what these two are long if i can see your answer but i, I think we can, i can't see your answer but if i were to ask you these two these two right 
which one will give you a, a more bearish kind of a psychology behind it? Okay, never mind. So if you can tell me the answer, I can hear your answer. So I can see that maybe some of you know the answer. So you see, uh, this psychology, the price open here and then close here. Okay, the, the, uh, uh, yeah, open here and close here, and then it went all the way up, and then it went all the way down. So all the way up, and then all the way down here. Okay, so you have this selling pressure. Okay, over here, the price went to a very low point on the day. Okay, at the lowest point here, let's say uh, uh, this uh, May Bank open at uh, seven fifty, went all the way down to seven ringgit. Okay, and then it went all the way up to uh, 760. So probably they opened at 750, went to 7, 8, uh, 760, and then went down to 7. Okay, it was a very bad day. But then suddenly, before the closing, it went all the way up to, uh, back to almost the original, around 760. Okay, so then what tells you about the psychology? So it went all the way down to 7, but then, before the closing, right, it went all the way up to 760, about the, the same price of the opening price. So does this give you a signal that, or the psychology or the feeling that this particular day, this stock is actually have the support, okay? It has a support, okay? And then this particular day, and then this particular stock has a selling pressure because you went all the way up and then you close all the way down. Your highest and your closing price, there's a big gap, okay? And then it was a lot of selling pressure here. So usually when we look at it, no matter what's the name, you don't try to remember the name. You just look at the tail. The longer the tail on top, right, it means that selling pressure is a lot. It means a lot of people sell down. You shoot all the way up and then it went all the way down. So selling pressure a lot. And then for this kind of a long tail at the bottom, it, it shows support sign, okay? A lot of support behind it, so which is good, okay? Which is bullish, and this is bearish, okay? Yeah, actually, many people also pick you know, the black one, which is the first one. Uh, so they actually they can oh, respond to yeah. me, but you can't see it. So let me, uh, yeah, later you can ask a question, okay. I will help you to tell you uh, which, what, what answer they pick more. Mm. Uh, Mm, okay, so that means uh, the, the group of people are, are more experienced one. Maybe I can go a bit faster here. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll try, okay? I'll sure. cater for the, the beginners also. <laughs> okay, so over here, this is my favorite. Okay, I'm not sure how many of you out there, but this one uh, is my favorite. Because for the equity market, right, we can only long, we cannot short, okay? At least not for now, like, until December. <laughs> So if you can't short, you can only look for long. That means you can only look for buy opportunity. Now, this is a perfect buy opportunity that I always like. So this is called a hammer. So in a downtrend, in a downtrend, and then you, you look at the, the downtrend, and then, then you see this uh, hammer with a very long tail, like I said, right? With a long tail at the bottom, it means strong support. So that means this turnaround is going to be a strong signal, okay? This trend reversal, Will, is a strong signal, okay? So, which is good. And then it will be reverse, trend reversal. It's a strong trend reversal sign here. So this hammer, the, the meaning behind it is that uh, formation is, is formed by either a black or white small body candle with no upper shadow, okay? And then there's a strong, all the, all the support you can find here with the tail. And then this form must be present uh, among the downtrend when it is expected to see low, okay? So this one, that means that you must have a downtrend, okay? The downtrend and then followed by this. Not the up one, uh, if on top you see this uh, is totally different, okay? It have to be downtrend. Then you see this, then it's good. Okay, ah, this is the hanging man. So this is also the same pattern, right? But now this, this hammer shape, right, is happening on the top. That means at the top of the chart pattern, okay? See if I can show you the, um, this one. Can you see? Can you see? Uh, can, right? So you see? Yes, investing.com, um, right? Yes, can see. 
Mm, investing.com, yeah. I'm showing you the investing.com. You, you, uh. you see you this Tata Lega the, on, on the this browser. Then I think okay. Yeah. Clearer? Yes. Yeah, it's bigger. Yeah. Bigger, but still the chart is not very big. Okay, so you see this um that day, uh what which day? Mm, September something, okay. That day, this this thing happened. So it's a hata lega. So on that day, a lot of the glove stock also um have this. And um actually uh the, the subsequent day was a disaster for a lot of glove stocks. Uh. But anyway, you saw this or not? This one is called the hanging man. Okay, so when you see this hanging man on the top of the chart, uh, it's a signal, it's it's a reversal, trend reversal. So that means that the trend will reverse from the, the previous one. So previous was uptrend, it will be reversed and then it become a downtrend. Okay, so it become a downtrend. So this thing happened and this candlestick is very uh, uh, huge. Okay, as a, the, the price volatility is huge and the volume is tremendous, okay, on that day. Okay. Um, where is my okay? Let's get. Um, okay, I'm trying to get back to my my slide. I tried to escape, but it cannot. Oh, uh, to... You can uh, switch the screen oh, here. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is the one. Yeah, you, you just minimize it. The 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 green button, the green button. The green button. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You're not familiar I'm, with Mac. I'm is not used to the <laughs> Mac. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, back and back to here now. Okay, so we are now here. Okay, so this one is a warning sign, trend reversal. It's good when it is at the bottom. Not good when it's on the top. Okay, so that means uh, reversing. So it's formed by this uh, small body and then with a the long tail. And so that means you have, uh, 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 although you have a lot of support here, but then when it's formed at the at the top there, it means it's bad, okay? So actually for the top, right, you also have another one. So I usually like to compare this one with the shooting star. This one, shooting star, also found on the top. But these two, right, Definitely, one will give you a stronger sell signal. Excuse me, than the other one. Okay, this one because it has a, a long tail, so that means there's a strong support here. But it's just that it happened at the top, so that's why it's a reversal pattern. But if you do see this one, this one is really really powerful, more powerful than this one. Okay, so so I repeat, for the candlestick, right, it has strength like one star, two star, three star kind of a strength. So this one probably is about two stars, but this one is three star strength of the reversal, okay? So this is the shooting star. So the chances of reversing is higher, okay? So this is a writing. So it's formed on a very high, um, long upper shadow. So that means selling pressure is very high. So it's a very powerful bearish reversal sign. Okay, then you have another one, which is like something like a shooting star, but this one happened at the bottom. So this one we call the inverted hammer. So just now, we see that um, when it happened in the bottom, just now the, the hammer, right? The hammer happened at the bottom, it was my favorite, which means that it will sure uh, reverse. But if I were to see this one, this one is less um, powerful because of the long tail on top. Okay, this long tail on top signify the uh, selling pressure. So it's not that powerful when it, because when you are reversing from bearish to bull, bullish, you need um, support. Okay, you need to have a strong support so that you can bounce and then you can go all the way up. But this one, you have a high, large selling pressure. So it's not so convincing, but still it's a reversal chart pattern. It's like a two star kind of a reversal chart pattern in terms of the strength. Okay. Then um, this is the, the writing. 
Okay, next, the doji. Doji is a, a candlestick pattern whereby it tells you indecisiveness. Um, not sure, unsure, okay, indecisiveness. So over here, you can see that um, you open at the this particular price and then you went, that day you went all the way up, you went all the way down, and then finally you close back at the original pricing. So that means what? That means this whole day, right? People are like, ding, ding, dong, dong, don't, do not know where to go, okay? You, you, you go all the way down and then, then you see that it's, it's not right. It uh, has to be up. Then you go all the way up. And then finally, then you find that it's not right. You have to go all the way back to the original position, back to square one. So that means the whole day is like, you, you, you do not know where, where the, the trend is. You are not decided. So this kind of a situation, the psychology behind it, right? It tells you that this trend is uh, in query. That means people are trying to in doubt, okay? If that it's an uptrend, then that means this uptrend is in doubt. If it's a downtrend, that means this downtrend is in doubt, okay? So it's also a trend reversal, okay? So this trend reversal, how, how strong is the strength? I would say it's about two star. Okay, it's not two star kind of a, a, a strength. Okay, then you have this doji. This doji tells you the market is uncertain, but then um, although both are uncertain, but then this one has a more selling pressure and this one has a more buying um, support. Okay, so you look at the tails now, where the tail is, whether you have a long up tail or long um, uh, over here. So if let's say it's the same length, so that means it's uncertain. Okay, so whenever you see doji, right, whether you have a long or uh, at the bottom, right, it's all uncertain. It's just that uh, this uncertainty, is it um, towards the bullish side or towards the bearish side? If you have a long tail at the top there, it's a bearish, that means selling pressure. So always remember a, a lot, large long tail on the top is selling pressure. Okay, so if it's uh, at the bottom, it's support. Okay, so this one support this one selling so this is more bearish than this one okay so you just understand the psychology don't bother to memorize the name so i never bother to memorize the name it's it's not important the name the important is to recognize this pattern and then understand the psychology behind it that's the most important okay it's not like we're going for an exam if it's an exam people you are tested then you have to memorize the names and, and for your information there are over 200 patterns in terms of the doji 200 so so you wouldn't be able to memorize all of them two or more candlesticks huh? so you have a bullish um, candlestick pattern and this is the bullish engulfing okay so this bullish engulfing is quite uh, powerful okay so uh, it's a it's a reversal as well so when you see this or even in the continuation you can also see this okay either a reversal or continuation you can see this so so this usually um when you see a large white body that engulfing the previous previous bearish day yeah? so that means it's uh it's going to be uh, bullish okay but must have a volume la. so the volume will to confirm this bullishness the, the, the chart pattern is itself, it means nothing. And unless you see the volume to the volume acts as a confirmation, all right? The volume acts as a confirmation. If without the volume, it's like, um, you know, you are like 50% uh, for, for that part. So formation is a small body over here and then followed by this large body. And this large body is engulfing the, this one. Okay, so it completes this total. That means it's very bullish. You see how bullish it is, huh? I just um, tell you the psychology behind it. So this one, um, previous day, it opened high and then closed low, right? Open high and then close low. And then the next day, right, it get down, okay? So that means you start from this level because it's from here to all the way up. So you get down, get down means bearish, but then it went all the way up past this whole body. So that means it's a very bullish day, okay? It reverses this get down negative, and then it went all the way up and then engulfed the whole of this uh, candlestick. So this one is a very powerful um, trend reversal, okay? If it's uh, at the bottom, if you find it, okay? Or if it's a continuation, it's a, it's a continuing, okay? It's a bullish continuing, okay? 
Then this one is called the bullish harami. Harami means um, pregnant. So does it look like a pregnant lady? Okay, it looks like a pregnant lady. So uh, so it's called the bullish harami. So this one with a, a, a very bearish long black candle and then followed by a small white candle in the middle. So we call it the bullish harami. And this white candle uh, is the gives you the, the bullishness about this particular um, situation, okay? And people usually, sometimes you will see that you do not have a white body here. Sometimes you have a cross here. And then that one is called the Harami cross. Harami cross, it means that you, the second day, right? It's not a white body, but a cross. Okay, doji, is a doji sign. So this also bullish, okay? Also bullish. And then um, who is more bullish? Is it the Harami bullish? Bullish Harami more bullish or the Harami cross is more bullish. Actually, according to the research, right, they said that the bullish cross is more powerful, the uh, more strength. However, from my past looking at the chart, I, I see them as about the same. Okay, I, I wouldn't see that which one is more powerful, but both of them have the bullishness in them. Okay, both also very bullish. Okay, especially when you find this at the bottom of the chart, like after a uh, uh, of a prolonged or maybe subsequent down down days and then then you see this and then this will actually um confirm with the third candlestick after you see this right the third day usually is a white candlestick over here maybe it's a get up or something okay then it's a uh, uh, very bullish okay so however if let's say you see this right but the third day is a uh, uh, a small price action so that means weak okay it's weak so after you see this you have to see the third day what's happening okay so if you see a gap up that's good okay if after you see this bullish reversal also no gap up but you know a small kind of a pattern it means that uh still still lack of the strength okay still lack of the strength so all these are psychology behind it as long as you understand uh it's 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 very useful and then this one is called the piercing line so this piercing line is actually um, you have a, a white a, a black day that means a bearish candlestick previous day and the next day you get down okay you get down means continue to be bearish but it went all the way up and then it closed at the above the half of the body of the previous day it didn't go all the way up there if you go if you went all the way up, it's a, a bullish uh, engulfing, but it, it didn't, it starts stop halfway, but it's still considered bullish, okay? It's called piercing line. And so this bullish compared to the engulfing, of course, this one is weaker because it's only up to here. The bullish one, the engulfing will be much, much stronger, okay? So if you're comparing the stars, this one, two stars, and then the bullish engulfing will be three star strength. Yeah, so so you look at the 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 relative strength okay of all of these kind of uh, patterns and this one is called the morning star the morning star is with a bearish candlestick and then you get down get down you close okay however you have a, a, a narrow range a small a short um, candlestick but then on the third day there's a large white candlestick so this actually confirm bullish okay this white candle actually confirmed this bullishness so it's called the morning star okay so if you even if you do not remember this morning star but you look at it okay you have a bad gap down and then you close the second day with a small white candlestick and then the third day you have a large candlestick so it's bullish now this one is called three white soldier it's very simple simply three consecutive updates okay three consecutive updates uh if you have three large consecutive updates you have to see here uh, these three consecutive updates are how large are the candles if this this candlestick are very large right that means the price has already gone up too high okay if let's say this one all the way up there that means it's already too high so the next day the fourth day right it may not be bullish it may be profit taking so you have to be careful about this three white soldier and and sometimes it may be running like overbought and then the fourth day it's not 
you know, bullish, but actually it's a profit taking day. So I have to be careful. But no matter what, these three white soldier indicate bullish. Okay. So maybe the fourth day is a uh, 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 profit taking, and then maybe the fifth day you pick up again. So it means it's a bullish. Okay. Okay. Next, the bearish. Okay, bearish is actually the opposite of the bullish. So this is actually the opposite. Remember, just now we saw the, the second candlestick is a very huge white candlestick, right? Then that's called the bullish engulfing, right? But this one is the white, large, white range and large uh, black color candlestick. So this one is called the bearish. It's very bearish day. The whole day, it, it get up and then it went all the way down and then closed very low. So this whole day was a, a down day and it was a very bad day indeed because it went all the way down. It get up actually in the initially it get get up, but it closed all the way down. So very bad situation. Okay, so this kind of a bearish engulfing uh, will be like three star kind of a strength. Okay, three star. And then this is a bearish harami. Bearish harami is a pregnant lady. Okay, but this pregnant lady is bearish because you have a black color candlestick in the in uh, in the next day. Okay, and this black color is actually within the the length of this. You see. The length of the white candle is within it. So it's like the, the, the tummy, the, the pregnant lady. So it's a bearish harami. So this bearish harami is very bearish, okay? But in terms of this engulfing, this is more uh, bearish than this one. But however, I look at the Malaysia, Busa Malaysia, right? Usually when you see bearish harami, right? It's, it's quite, quite uh, responsive, that means, Whenever you see this, the next day is actually a reversal. Okay, it's, it's usually quite responsive. Dark cloud cover. Dark cloud cover is uh, having a, a, a large black color candlestick, bearish candlestick the next day. So it's like a dark cloud covering this one. So it's bearish. Okay. Then this one is evening star. So this one is like you get up. The second day you still saw a, a, a good situation but the next third day right you saw it's actually a, a small gap down and then it went all the way down okay so it's an evening star okay three black crows now three black crows is the opposite of the three white soldier and when you see these three black crows also same thing if you see very large black black crows uh, that means oversold already and then if you want to short the market it's very dangerous you have to be careful okay you have to see that it's already oversold so maybe the fourth day is prof, um, you know profit taking um, recover rebounds okay so but nevertheless three black crows is is bad Okay, it's bearish. Okay. Okay. So if you have a question, you write down and then later you can ask me. Okay, so I'm just going to um, go through this small quiz here. So among these one, two, three, four, five, these five candlestick, which ones are the bullish, bullish pattern? Which ones? Okay. okay in fact, all these are bullish. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one is not a quiz yet. Okay. Uh, my quiz is okay. another slide. Sorry. This one is actually <laughs> uh, grouping them together. Okay. This one is a bullish candlestick. Okay. I group them together. And then this one is the uh, bearish candlestick. So I group them together. Okay. My my next slide is ah. This one is a quiz. Okay. This one is my quiz. Okay. So which ones are bullish? Which ones are bullish? Okay, so if you to look at it, this is number one, number two, number three, and number four. Okay, you have one, two, three, four. You can give me uh, more than one answer. Lah. Okay, which ones, right? You can give me more than one answer. See who, who can uh, type the right answer. Are we seeing the people typing the answer there? Yeah. There are more answers than my eyes can meet up with the speeder. <laughs> okay, so roughly, the, what are the numbers that you can see? Yeah, all number also got majority pick two. Uh, second ah, two, one, yeah. we have uh, four. 
we have four, yeah, two and four, right? Four. Mm. Yeah, two and four are the most answers, right? Yeah, some said one and three also got lah. Okay, but majority pick oh. two and two, and then followed by four. Mm. Okay, very good. So the two and the four are the correct answer. Okay, and then if let's say you want to say this doji as a bullish, also can if it's like a trend reversal. It's although it's not like a bullish as the term is bullish, but it's like a trend reversal. So if it's a downtrend, then if you see this one, then maybe it's a bullish sign. Okay, so it can be bullish or can be bearish, but it's a, a trend reversal sign. But these two are definitely two and four are definitely two and four are definitely this. This is the downtrend, and then when you see a downtrend, then followed by this one, it's definitely a, a bullish. And then for this one, it's a, a bearish engulfing. So this is bearish. Okay. Now, which ones are bearish? You can give me more than one answer. Which ones are bearish? Also one, two, three, four. Huh? Mm, also one, two, three, four. Anybody? Okay, what are the numbers that you see that are wow. coming out? Also, there are also so many. <laughs> Okay, the, the, I, the, most uh, common the most common answer is one. No, actually, the most common answer is one, two, three. Mm, yes, yes, one, two, three is correct. Okay, so the first one is called the three black pro, so it's bearish. And then this one is like when you are in the uptrend, so you saw this shooting star on top, so that's bearish. And then this one is a dark cloud cover. So the next day you have a large bearish candlestick overshadowing the previous one. So it's a, a bearish sign. And then this one is called the bullish harami. Okay. So, so these are the uh, patterns. So you recognize the pattern first. Okay. So after you recognize the pattern, then we can apply. So uh, we can either apply, see what um, software you have. If you have the Busa station, then you just take out the Busa station. If you have... If you do not have, then you can go to the investing.com. Okay, so both I also have. So for this one, the application, uh, application. So for this one, you look at it. Okay, you look at it, and then um, the first thing usually you have to do what? Draw the uh, 20 days and the 200 day moving average. So this one is a, a moving average line here. Okay, to to show the support and resistance. So this one. Um, it's a daily chart, okay? It's a daily chart, and then um, I use a eight day because it's a, a consider rather short term, okay? I use a eight day. You can have twenty day or two hundred day, okay? Twenty day and two hundred day is a is a must, okay? And then followed by draw trend line. So see if I can draw this trend line. So top, did you see the top here? So you have to draw a horizontal trend line here. Did you use the horizontal so that it will run uh, across horizontally, okay? So you, you can use the horizontal trend line then to, to, to make it horizontal. And then you, you identify, okay, I have this, I have here, I have here. So there's some congestion here. So maybe over here, I can also draw another line, okay? So the, the lines are actually when you see some congestion, uh, congestion like a lot of price action like that, then you can draw. Then you see there's one over here, there's one like, you know, uh, a turning point, turning point over here. So over here, you can also draw another line. So this all this horizontal line, it has to be across, uh, from left to right across, okay? It's not um, like this one. Because I, I, I don't have that horizontal line, so I use this drawing. But actually, you have to use cross, cross all the way, cross all the way. Because this horizontal line, right, when you look back, it could be the past support and resistance as well. So you see here, here, so you draw lines. Okay, you draw lines. So among the lines, right, Usually I will try to draw like a proportional lines, okay, proportional so that you can divide this into a proportional section. And then these are the support and resistance, okay? And then and then if you can, you can calculate like what's the, the price range 
the difference like using this minus this one so that you can get the price difference and then see whether this price difference is about the same and then this subsequently then you can draw the the next price difference that will match this difference okay so most likely is i will draw like that okay so as you can see it's almost proportional okay so so this is number two number two number one is to give the moving average line number two is to draw the horizontal line and then number three you draw the trend line the slanting trend line the the current one this this is this part is the current one and these are the paths okay so you can draw this trend line not straight enough but it has to be a straight line okay so that means this particular chart pattern is on the bullish trend line and then if you want you can even draw a channel okay because oh it's not very straight because uh, the channel this one's supposed to here okay so this one's supposed to tell you the support and resistance within that trend also you see this whole diagram you have the support and resistance okay when you see the macro picture but when you see the micro within this uh, few days or few weeks you must also see that this channel line right somehow the price action reacts very well with the channel with the channel you see it this is a resistance then it will not pass the resistance then it bounce back so it's like moving uh within that channel okay so it's moving with it you can also see this as a channel line here Okay, so this is within the channel. So it touches the, the upper channel line three times, one, two, and three, three times. Okay, so it, it moves nicely within the channel. So that's why I said that this is the foundation. The trend lines are the foundation before you even look at Fibonacci, before you even look at candlestick or whatever. You look at the trend first. From the trend, you know, the big picture so you know that this is the big picture and if you can right usually i like to use this uh the slope okay this slope is about the same slope with this okay so the, the, they are the same slope and another thing you need to count count what you need to count the 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 number of candlesticks here so for example this upper trend here okay upper trainer you can count the number of days of the 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 um, up uh, up days uh, okay the this is the um going up and then this is correction retracement and then this is going up and then retracement going up so what we are going to do is to count the number of the duration of this uh, uptrend so this duration of uptrend uh, you can count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 14 okay 14 will be the uh uptrend okay then you see that you have a uh, down one two three uh oh, sorry one and two two down day third third is a down day three down day and then you follow by up one two three up day okay down three up three so balance up that means uh, they are undecided horizontal because the the number of days right tells you whether this trend is an uptrend or downtrend so so over here down tree up tree is like horizontal and then it says that one two three four five six six okay and then six down day and then when you see the retracement right you see that the retracement is actually uh, retrace a little bit from the top and then over here if you can apply fibonacci it will be good so in fact you see i do when you look at candlestick is candlestick but actually when you when you look at this chart right you have to apply quite a number of uh, technical things the basic things you must have and then followed by the, uh, the 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 time cycle this is what i call the time cycle because i need to count the time frame of the up days and the down days so that i i know that it's actually on the up cycles okay then i have to look at the retracement how deep is the retracement and this retracement usually will use fibonacci so there you see it's a combination okay it's a combination but okay so 
over here you can see that the retracement is uh, using the Fibonacci right if you can use that you can use otherwise you can count manually that means you take out a calculator and then you count the top here what's the price and then you calculate the the the, the retracement the lowest price is here so that means um, from the top to this retracement it it dropped how many percent okay it dropped how many percent is it like 10 percent or less than that so for Fibonacci is uh, 382 which is a uh, 38.2 percent okay so that's a uh, one third so if you do not want to use Fibonacci, you use um, ratio, fine. Okay, you just use ratio and then you see what's the ratio. Is it 10%, 20%, 30% kind of a ratio? And the most important is the 50%. Make sure that it didn't retrace all the way down to the 50 and beyond. That's a big no-no. So that means what? That means that uh, you are uh, on the uptrend, nice and smooth, uptrend. Then you retrace, which is normal. On any healthy uh, market cycle, right? It will retrace, and then you go up again. It will retrace, it will go up. So it's it's normal. But the thing is that you cannot retrace too much, okay? Because when you retrace too much, it tells you the psychology behind is getting turning bad. You have a bad vibe behind it. You have a bad psychology behind it. So if you let's say it turn like fifty percent or more, so that means that the retracement tells you that this chart here is weakening okay it's weakening however if let's say you see that this retracement uh, is like horizontal it didn't retrace too much it's like moving horizontally and then it went all the way up again so then therefore this kind of a horizontal um, retracement it's a bullish bullish strength that tells you okay so then you count how many updates one two three four five six seven eight nine ten in total, if you have more days, the duration of the up days is longer than the duration of the down days, you are fine. You are in a healthy bullish trend. But one day, your down day, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You have 10 down days. So you say, uh oh, something is wrong. Okay, I have 10 down days. Not as last time. Last time I have three down days or have, you know, four down days. I, I have never have like 10 down days. So now I have 10 down days. So that means what? That means it's getting bearish. Okay. So it actually, it shows it's bearish. And then this low here is actually uh, more than here. Okay. So here is a, a, a retracement here. So actually here, the low is actually lower than the low. So you are getting a lower low over here. Okay, and then the high here is lower than the peak here. So you're getting a lower high and a lower low. Okay, so therefore over here, lower high with a lower low by definition is a downtrend. So you can actually draw a downtrend here. A downtrend here. Okay, it's a down channel line here. Okay, so actually by looking at the chart, okay, you incorporate Okay, you don't look at the chart, candlestick chart pattern alone. You incorporate with the volume bar, the trend line, and then the Fibonacci, and then the time cycle. Okay, then, then it's it's a it's a complete technical analysis. Okay, it's a complete. If if you know some Elliott wave, you can apply also. But Elliott wave is is very difficult to apply because it's usually in when you're in the midst of it, you you usually don't see it, and then when you're out of it okay when after some time over it and then when you look back then you see okay then i have to redraw it it was not like that but i have to redraw it it's another situation okay so anyway it's not easy okay but the the more reliable ones are these are the more basic reliable ones okay and then if i can erase this i can erase Okay, so you see this, another thing I want to see, oops. Okay, so I want to see that, I want to show you that you see that this volume bar, okay, this volume bar is actually um, twice the height of the normal range, okay, it's like a, a very peak, ultra, huge volume bar over here now usually when you look at the chart one glance you identify these these 
high volume bar okay the high volume bar you identify you single them out and then you try to look you look back you look back huh? and then you see oh it's this one it's this candlestick that is doing like that okay so then this candlestick uh, you can what you can do is that you look at the real body the real body here you look at the real body and then you try to use that uh, horizontal support and resistance line and then you draw horizontal trend here okay you draw across the horizontal trend and then the real body is here right the tail you don't draw like you just draw the, the real body okay now this this right that means a lot of people are transacted around this price range buy and sell buy and sell in in this price range okay for this particular day you have so many people buying and selling okay now then you can use this candlestick and then you draw the horizontal line and then this horizontal line will be the support and resistance zone you see the word zone it's like a zone here a zone here is like a resistance zone here now okay so that means the subsequent price right because this is uh, october so the subsequent price you may find that this particular zone is a very strong resistance because of this high price action and then that lead that this zone here will be a very strong resistance so you may not be easily breaking through this price range okay i don't know what price is that but then this is difficult if you can break it it will go to a, another level okay most likely you will test for a few times before you can break it okay so most likely you'll find that the resistance over here okay so therefore again candlestick you need to apply together with the volume you need to apply with the trend line and then you need to apply with the support and resistance zone then you can see uh, uh, something more okay you cannot just see that candlestick as something by itself individual no you can't okay even if you to look at this situation you see that this one is a very tall um, big tail over here so if you look at this situation uh, it's a big tail up because you were uh, on top here okay you are going up running up to the top and then you have uh, the one down day and then this down day uh, is actually uh, a hanging man if you can zoom in uh, this this down there uh, is a, a narrow body here if you can zoom in it's actually a narrow body with a long tail this one and then subsequently you have a longer body with a longer tail okay this one Th these two are very interesting first you have a hanging man okay that means that although you you have the hanging man but there's a support line because of the long tail so but anyway it's a hanging man means a hanging man that means a bearish right so the next day it was bearish okay because people recognize it so then they sell down but the thing that this long tail also shows that you have a strong support you have a very strong support so that means what that means uh, although it's bearish but still people still support it so therefore subsequently it went up okay so it went up so so um that this one tells you about the psychology behind it okay going to the next one is it clear okay now this one um i got from investing.com also uh investing.com or okay yeah investing.com so you have uh, a chart like this okay so a chart like this um and then you look at it now uh, you have a gap up over here okay now i in, i slowly introduce more and more terms to to you guys uh so that's why you, i have to say that it's like everything right you cannot just look at candlestick as in candlestick you have to look at uh more things so in this case it's a gap up okay so gap up usually means that uh it's a uh a bullish okay bullish situation and then you have to measure the gap over here so the gap here if you can you you draw one horizontal line uh, yeah 
has to be that touches the body la, but slant a bit okay and then um here okay okay so then you have this a gap here so this act as a support and resistance zone in this case it's a support okay it's a support so this gap will be a support so you have to make sure that subsequently for the whatever price action here it didn't fall back and close the gap okay if you close the gap it means what you'll be downtrend all over again very bad okay so the gap up is actually act as a cushion or support zone so that the, the price will be up there okay so then you have this uh a doji sign okay so this one doji sign followed by a a, a, a bullish white candlestick here so this two combination here they call it the bearish harami cross okay it's a bearish harami cross and then which means that this is like a, a harami harami is a pregnant lady right it's a it's a so a small baby inside it. So you see that this one is called a harami cross, and then subsequently it's a down day. Okay, you have you still have another doji, and then followed by a a, a large white, uh, sorry, a large green. In this case, this green means a black la. Okay, large bearish candlestick over here. So this one is a bearish engulfing. Okay, it's a bearish engulfing, and then and then but the with this bearish engulfing right. But you see, the subsequently you have a you thought it's going to be bearish, but then subsequently you have a white candle. So that's why sometimes it didn't happen as it it it's supposed to be. Okay, it didn't happen when you just when you think that it's going to be bearish, and just when you think that you, you're going to short it, then suddenly the the subsequent day is a white candlestick. So what do you do? You have to quickly cut loss. I mean, uh, close your position. You don't let the short continue because this white candle it's going to change the whole situation again you see it's like a baby inside this again so it's like a bullish harami you see then you have a bearish candlestick and then followed by this white candle smaller white candle inside like a shorter on the next day so it's like a bullish harami so it reverses okay so that's why for candlestick right sometimes it didn't happen and then you have to see what's what's the next one if the next one see that it's a trend reversal then the next day you will see that there's a gap up so the gap up means that it's a confirmation then subsequently it will be uh, all the way up okay so okay now important steps draw trend lines support and resistance line okay and then you pay attention to any chart patterns formation so number one the lay the basic foundation first the foundation is that you draw the normal 20 day moving average you draw the 200 day moving average then you do it like automatic kind of thing okay whenever you pull out your chart you do this uh, automatic so and then the next thing you draw the horizontal support line it's like you you just do without thinking okay it's like normal norm it's a norm to you it's a day, daily kind of thing to you draw and then this thing then you draw the trend line okay you lay the foundation first then only you look at the chart patterns try to see the macro picture see zoom out to see if there's any chart pattern big chart pattern and then uh, then you zoom in and then see what what's a chart pattern okay zoom out and zoom in whether you want to use daily chart weekly chart or whatever it depends on what's your objective if you want to go for bigger macro view you, you can go for weekly chart okay or daily chart and then if let's say you want to um, go for the daily kind of a trading activity, then you look into the hourly chart or minute chart or whatever, then that will be trading already. Okay. So it depends on what's your objective. So the, the time frame, it depends. But the basic is the same. Okay. You must, no matter if it's a daily chart or hourly chart, the chart pattern, if there is, there is a chart pattern, and then the price action will be subsequently. If you see a double top chart pattern, subsequently, most likely you will see uh, the neckline broken, and then, then you see a downtrend. Okay, as simple as that. So the chart pattern is very, very important. Okay, you must see the chart pattern, and this chart pattern will, will give you the, the main, main trend. Okay, give you the main trend. And then only you look for the candlestick. The candlestick is a subsequent. Okay, that give you a secondary kind of a opinion or something. Okay, and then if it's a trend reversal, of course that's good. Okay, so you look at the chart pattern and then see that there's a, a double top and then there's a downtrend. 
and then after the downtrend you see a hammer and then that hammer is a bullish candlestick reversal pattern and then then you know that it's end of the bear trend and then the bull trend will, will continue will start okay so then uh, look for the bullish bullish and bearish chart patterns okay so these are the 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 the, the main idea about um, chart uh, the candlestick analysis okay okay i think we are coming to the q and a session and hopefully um i can answer more questions all right so if you have any question yeah. just um yeah type there and then yeah, hopefully i can have 10 plus can minutes answer. for q and a hmm. okay so if any question to ask pauline you may write down your q and a box hmm. Uh, so we will address of course there are so many questions on my screen right now so we will just uh, pick a few to ask okay so yeah. very highly likely that we are not able to ask all of the questions mm. so yeah so let me go through the question uh. okay so ask those about... questions that are you know um, like how or you know don't ask about the terms the terms you can always google but the the how and why and uh, these are the questions that it's good to answer Hmm. Uh, let's say if you want to go for intraday trading, uh, which time frame hmm. would you suggest? Um, okay, my favorite depends on what, which one uh, are you talking about? Equities or futures? Okay, usually for me, I trade the futures. Uh, I will go for the. I will go for the FKLI. Okay, I will go for the FKLI, and then um, I will go for the. Five minutes, fifteen minutes, and then uh, thirty minutes. Okay, five, fifteen, and thirty. So, um, and then I will combine with a uh, eight days moving average. Okay, so it could be a fifteen minutes chart, and then combine with the eight days moving average, and then you see that somehow it wraps very well with the um, candlestick. It wraps very well. Okay, and uh, that's FKLI. So depends on what what and then you have to explore you have to explore and then if let's say you're talking about equity right then you have to see individual stock they have their own um, patterns and then you have to explore whether uh, which time frame is more suitable sometimes they may use uh, hourly chart okay so it depends mm, okay. okay so the next question is by Edwin um, on which time frame do all these candlestick chart appear more reliable? Um, time frame. Oh, I see. Okay, now for candlesticks, uh, usually when people look at candlesticks, they look at short term, like three days, you know, or, or lesser. Um, it's like if you, let's say you look at five days ago, um, candlestick, uh, it may not be useful because candlesticks are very short term. So um, usually for candlesticks, I, I use it weekly also, I use daily also. So hard to say, it depends on what's your objective. So if I want to look at the big picture, right, I may use weekly. Okay, like the other day I saw the um Hatalega had a hanging man that and that was a weekly, weekly um chart, and then it was a hanging man. And then subsequently there was a, a downtrend. So you know, could be a weekly or could be daily, depends on what you want. So there's no right or wrong. But then uh, for uh, candlesticks, usually it's for short term. The, the usage okay. is usually for short term. Mm. Okay. Yeah, for the people asking whether you receive a recording, how are you going to do the revision? Yes, you receive the recordings uh, tomorrow. Don't worry. Yeah. So uh, for people asking how to draw Fibonacci or Fibonacci related questions, uh, uh, don't worry, Pauline will have another session on Fibonacci, I think in December, if not. December. Okay. Yeah. December, so uh, stay tuned, okay? So we'll skip all the Fibonacci questions. Um, yes, the next question is, do we look at VWAP when doing technical analysis? This is uh, from Marcus. VWAP? Yeah, V what volume weighted average price when doing technical analysis. Volume weighted uh, from, uh, sorry, volume is from Marcus Chan. Volume weighted average oh. price. Oh, volume weighted average price. Um 
personally, I don't use this one, but if you want to use also can because it's a volume uh, kind of a indicator. I usually look at the volume bar. So it depends on what is your, um, you know, your preference because there are like a few hundreds of indicators, technical indicators. So you choose the indicators that you like or you, you, you use the most comfortably, okay, you use. So if this VWAP is what you very comfortable with and then you find that it's uh, quite reliable when you use together with the candlestick, by all means you, you go ahead, okay? So, um, yeah, personally, I don't use this one, but if you use, then it, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Just give me a minute, uh, I'm trying to digest what does this question mean. Okay, can you explain this hanging man? Uh? So the question is, why hanging man is a bearish sign since there is a long shadow below, which refers to buying force that push up the price? Yeah, because um, actually this is a bearish sign is because you are at the top of it, okay? Because you are at the top of it and then you are having this kind of a, uh, like a indecisiveness over there. Like, you know, that day you have a, a, a selling pressure and then at the, at the end of it, then you have a strong support. But then this thing, but it happened at the top. So that's why it is a bearish reversal. But from my experience, right, I look at that, I feel that this one is not so um, like strength, okay? So that's why I said that this this kind of a bearish reversal pattern, I can only give like two star, but it's a, but it's a famous um, candlestick pattern that everybody recognize hanging man. So, so the effect will still be there, okay? Whenever you see a hanging man, sometimes, Sometimes you may see that um, the next day it may not happen, but if let's say you see that it happened, then the effect is still there. It's just that um, I would I would see that this one is not as more powerful as the shooting star. Okay, but nevertheless, uh, it is classified as a bearish reversal pattern. It is classified. Okay, so yeah. So okay. it's just the. Yeah, it is, but then it says that um, it's the strength is not there because of the strong support. You have a, such a long tail, but because it's found on the top there. So that's why um, you have such a big price action uh, at the top, but it's actually in doubt also. Psychologically, like, you have such a strong price action at the top there, it's actually in doubt. Okay, so that's why um, it is a reversal. Okay, so how do we recognize fake breakouts, uh, this right, by uh, Mei Ying. Yeah. Okay, so that's why sometimes you need the trend line. If, let's say, you draw trend line as in, um, okay, so if, let's say, uh, this is a downtrend, okay, and then uh, this is a downtrend, right, then you you are supposed to break out, and then you, you see that you have uh, this uh, uh, hammer, right? So it's like, oh, definitely it's going to um, break out already because I have this uh, strong support and then it's a hammer. But the next day, you have another, uh, like a doji, okay? It's like moving horizontally. So if let's say it's like that, and then uh, sometimes and then it may, the next day, maybe it, 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 it break out, but then there's this 20-day uh, moving average just on top of it, 20-day moving average. Okay, so that means you, you, although you break out, right, but then you have this uh, strong resistance. So maybe a few days later, then it reverses back. So a lot of um, external factors that uh, will affect whether it will really have a true breakout. But usually when you see this one, you have to assume that it is a reversal and then you have to do something. And then, but when the next day you, you do something and then it didn't happen, right, then you have to quickly salvage your mistake and then do something to reverse it. You cannot let it run, okay? So that's why when you are in the trading mode, uh, the candlesticks and everything, all this have to be very fast. You, you, you cannot let things um, happen and then you say, oh, what to do, what to do? Just wait and see and see. <laughs> the more you wait, the more the worse it will get, okay? So you, you have to quickly do something. The minute you see that uh, it is not like what you predict, you have to reverse it, you have to 
cut loss or something. Okay, so you have to see whether there's any resistance in the in the nearby vicinity, like 20 day moving average or uh, the the horizontal support resistance line, and then whether um, these are blocking the way. Otherwise, if all these are clear, maybe the chances of having a, a breakout is higher. Okay. Okay, so the next question is by Hong Ui. What is the difference between spinning top and doji? Okay, the spinning top is like a, you know, the gassing uh, where you have this body, small body. You have this small body, whereas the doji, uh, you have, don't have any body at all. You don't have any body at all, okay? That means the opening price is the same as the closing price. This one, at least you have a uh, open low and close high or open high and close low. At least you have uh, a price difference between the open price and the closing price. But this one, no, it's the same price. But however, the psychology behind them, very similar because both of these two have a long tail. So they are very similar. You can say that you can apply these two together, same kind of uh, application together. These two representing the same thing, which means indecisiveness. It's just that one with the body, one with uh, without the real body. Okay, but the meaning is the same. Okay, All right. so you just focus on the, the psychology behind. Yeah. Mm, okay. So the next question is by uh, Sh uh, Shaza Rudin. Are the candlesticks similar to Hekin Ashi? I'm sorry? Are the candlesticks, right? Uh, similar mm. with this Hekanashi. Hekanashi, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not very familiar with this Hekanashi. <laughs> because when, um, when you enable that function, right, the candlestick pattern will change one. They, they, they follow a different type of uh, formation of the uh, of the price action. Hekanashi. Mm -hmm, yeah. You're not familiar, okay. So Hekanashi is also like a, a, it's a pattern or what? It's an indicator. Uh, okay, I'm not, it is not, not an indicator. I, I, I will mm. believe that it is a price action. I think I will classify mm. under price action. Yeah. Okay. It's just like yeah. uh, oh, this one. I'm not the, the patterns a little bit special. Mm. All right. No, no issue. Let me uh just go to the next question. Let's do a. Uh, now, uh, among all the um, among the candlestick pattern that you've shown, right, Pauline? Yeah. Uh, how how reliable? I mean, in terms of percentage, uh, how do you say that? Uh, how many? How high are the chances of it? How high, right? Mm. Um, I would say that if you want to compare like a trend line and all those chart pattern, right? Candlestick actually um not very high. Okay, uh, it's not like a hundred percent kind of a thing, but then, um, but if, if you know, it's better than if you do not know. Okay, but those um, very familiar um, reversal chart pattern like um, the shooting star, okay, and also the the hammer, all this. If you see this right, because kind of technical analysis is something like uh, the more people know it, the more people will act on it. Okay, so they, it's self-fulfilling, okay? So if if you are looking at a, a candlestick chart pattern that everybody knows, so then this price action will be very highly reliable. That means that everybody look at it, they saw it, then they act on it. Just like the 20 day moving average, okay? So if let's say everybody see that, oh, above the 20 day moving average is short-term bullish, below is short-term bearish. So if you can see it, everybody can see it, then everybody act on it. So above it, everybody buy, and then below it, everybody sell. So this will actually make this whole thing more um, convincing, okay? So it's actually depends on the, the candlestick because there are so many of them. So it depends on how, how um, common the, those patterns are, okay? That's number one. And also number two is because candlestick chart pattern, like I said, is short term. It's like a, you can look at it as a one to three days kind of a price action. So you cannot take too much of a 
emphasis on the candlestick chart pattern because it's like one to three days kind of a, uh, a chart pattern. So you have to be uh, looking at the big picture and then looking at the uh, micro view and then you tr you will have to use together with the volume, trend line and any other thing. Okay, you cannot rely totally on the candlestick. Definitely no. Okay, otherwise, yeah. no. Yeah, all right. So... Thank you so much, Pauline, for helping us to do the question and answer. Yeah, so today you have learned more about uh, candlestick patterns. Now, uh, candlestick pattern is definitely an indicator that that uh, is a leading technical indicator that can possibly tell you where could be the turning points, or is there a uh, is there a reversal pattern, or is there a continuation pattern? So uh, personally, right, if I use uh, if I look at the charts, I will also look at candlestick. But then, like what Pauline said, I will look at you know, the big picture, look at the trend line and see. Uh, because sometimes the chart patterns, chart patterns is a lagging indicator that tells us what, because it already, the pattern is already completed. So, but candlestick is a new pattern that show up that will tell us the, uh, what they will probably forecast what will come next. So, uh, obviously, a leading indicator will have higher chance of a wrong signal, whereby a lagging indicator will have a, a higher chance of an accurate signal. So you have to, I mean, from my personal experience, we got to look at the everything. Uh, I mean, look at the big picture, look at the lagging indicators, and uh, and potentially you can draw some information from the leading indicators such as candlestick patterns. All right, so uh, right now, let me tell you more about our next webinar, which is a uh, risk and money management strategy for maximizing trading results. So this will be conducted by David Lowe. So it will be uh, happening on the 5th of uh, November, uh, Thursday, so 8.30 to 10 o'clock. So I have already put the registration link uh, to you. So uh, you may register uh, it right now if, of course, you don't want to miss out. So quickly register it for these sessions. All right. So, of course, we also have a post-webinar survey. So long that you do our survey, you will be in the running to walk away with a touch and go e-wallet pin uh, worth 50 ringgit so we'll pick six uh, lucky winners to win i would i, I would think that uh, there are already uh, quite a number you already won this you know uh touch and go e-wallet pin so uh help to answer survey then you'll stand a chance of winner so not only you come to our webinar free right you can also walk away with some money okay so this survey will be launched after this webinar and will also be sent to you via email so lucky winners will be reached out within a week all right, so don't forget to help us to fill up this uh, uh, survey so we can uh, take your input okay, and do better next year. All right, so thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. And also thank uh, Pauline for spending your time with us to share with us how you use candlestick charts to make trading decisions. So not only candlestick chart works in a futures market, but it can also work in any other market so long that you got charts. Lah, huh? All right, so uh, thank you, Pauline. You're welcome. See you, everyone. Yeah, so Thank you. See you, see you, everybody. So, uh, Pauline still have one or two sessions coming up next in the next two months. So, if you uh, want to hear more from her, uh, from her, so can uh, stay tuned for our emails for her subsequent sessions. With that, this is Shen Chu signing off. Bye bye, everybody. Have a pleasant rest of the day. Okay. Bye bye.